We asked Skip Rosser about his team being seated number two. He said it was validation for his players who accomplished so much this season when so little was expected. They were a seven seed last year. They beat Pepperdine in the first round and then got knocked off by Oregon in the second round. That was just a fabulous game, too, against Oregon. Upstairs. It's Gray to Levy. And beautifully executed. And a good call. That comes straight from the bench. Skip Brasser with that call. And how about the execution? It's one thing to diagram the play on the sidelines, but it's something else to get out there and execute it. 8-0, Demon Deacon run. 9-32 remaining in regulation. Lawson goes behind the back for a pull-up. And it's out of bounds. Here we go again. Look at the delivery, though. It's a difficult pass to make, but boy, did they ever make this look easy. Right on the money, and all you have to do is guide the basketball down through the cylinder. 57 to 48, Wake Forest with that 8 nothing run over the last two and a half minutes. They have out-rebounded the Buccaneers 40 to 27. 13 rebound differential. Trying to deliver the knockout punch right here also. Let's see how East Tennessee State hangs in. Levin, so lanky. And doesn't get it to go. Buccaneers need an answer. It's Wadu taking matters into his own hands, going coast to coast. There was an intent at half court that Wadu was going to go all the way. And if you start to ask yourself the question, if you can see it from over here, why don't any of the players see him out there and step in his way? Seven point, Wake Forest lead. Downey on a bounce. Here's Gray, left open, up three. Long rebound, Wadu. It's a run out. Got some numbers. Smith accelerating. Lost control of it, but regathers for the deuce. Oh, is that a, a beautiful delivery? You're right on the money, I and he lost control just as he was getting ready to challenge and go to the basket. And because he's so fast that he can hang in the air so long, able to go to the other side of the hoop for the delivery. He is fun to watch. Five foot nine, 155 pounds. Gray, big answer. A three ball. Stepping into it too. Gray is really reading the reactions of his teammates, understanding where the shots are going to come from. Smith, shake and bake. Got his man in the air. It's Wadu. Wow. He nails the three. Timbo starting to pick up a bit. They're a good pace to this game. Both ends of the floor. They're getting involved offensively. And East Tennessee State is not going away. 19 points for Zaki Wadu. 60 to 55, the number two seed Wake in front of 15th seed at East Tennessee State. Howard looking to deal with the zone defense. Kick out. It's Gray. Rimming, no. Levy. So easy on the inside for Levy. Uh, so nice to watch, too. At 6 9, goes straight up, keeps the ball nice and high for the finish. Don't allow those little guys, you bring that ball down. The little guys like Smith will be back in there stripping it from you. 62 55. Fields back in there. In foul trouble with four personals. And Rota will back it out. Into the hands of Smith. He'll run the offense with 10 to shoot. You know he tries to drive a lot. He's just tough to stop. Look at him. Trouble now. Smith. Good find inside. Rota. Danilu's got it on the way down. A timeout with 7.01 left on the clock. Wake Forest, 62, East Tennessee State, 57. Game summary in a five-point differential. East Tennessee State is shooting 53% in the second half. Wake Forest, brutal from three-point territory, four of 17. Wadud and Williams have been the standouts for their respective teams. And if you're East Tennessee State right now, you're just happy to be in this position. You just kind of convince your guys on the floor, hey, we've made it this far. Let's just buckle down and really go after it right now. Around the perimeter, Howard. Still in the zone. And Williams remains on the bench for Wake Forest with four personal fouls. 1-3-1 one, one zone. That's Tim Smith in the back. Gray, zone buster. Back of the iron. Trying to follow his shot. He keeps it alive for Levy. And those long shots will kick out if they hit the back iron in particular. They will kick out long. There was a long rebound. And once again, that number one rebounding team in the country slips back into a zone 2 3 defense right now. But they are doing the work off the offensive glass. Levy has 14 points. All of them have come in the second half. 
Good pull-up jump shot from Tim Smith. And it's a quick release for Tim Smith because he doesn't shoot it at the point in the high point of his jump. He's getting it somewhere in the, in the middle of it. But he's tracking along the baseline. They have a problem. Oh, watch out. Libby. He just got a knuckle sandwich. If you would have let it there, we'll take a look. Brad Knuckles, the personal foul. He came down hard on Jamal Levy. Well, here's that diagonal pass. Mm, that's a tough one. Full arm extension, third foul on Knuckles. And Levy has shaken it off. He's at the free throw line. Well, you, I'll tell you, you don't get too many more aggressive fouls than that. That was uh, pretty close right there. I think that there wasn't an intent on that, though, Ian, from the standpoint of Knuckles coming down just trying to stop the bucket. And Levy can't make his free throws. He is 0-4 from the line. Wadud will come back in. He will replace Ben Rhoda, the freshman. Another free throw coming for Jamal Levy. 61% for the season. Knuckles unable to catch it initially, and it comes out of bounds off of Gray. So an empty trip for Wake. You always want to keep it clean but aggressive, and right there you could say it was close to being a little beyond aggressive, but that's the reason you do not want to give up the easy buckets at the, at the underneath the basket like that. Wake Forest is now 6 of 12 from the free throw line. We are under six minutes to go. East Tennessee State within five against the number two seed in the East. Smith, Downey takes it away, throws it off Smith, out of bounds. And Wake Forest creating a turnover. You see, that's the beauty of this game in basketball that maybe the average fan doesn't understand. Watch how quickly the player has to make a decision going after the basketball and then the thought process of what he wants to do in a split second. I mean, you got to play this game on the fly. Downey. To the corner, Howard can't hit it. Wadu, the weak side rebound. Good look ahead, too, for Smith right there. Smith on a kick out, Lawson. Got it for three. Doesn't get any better than that on the break. The big guy gives it up to the point guard who brings the traffic all the way to the basket. And your shooter, your understanding of it is, I'm going to get this ball back because you know where the shots are coming from. Great spot up there by Lawson. We hit five minutes to go. Second half. Gray loses the basketball. Wadu hands it to Smith. Decision time here for Smith right now. Make a good decision. Down by two. Ball movement. Wadu wants it. Up fake. Followed by Knuckles, and we are tied at 64. They may be the number one rebounding team in the country, but Knuckles is showing them that he'll find the spot and go after the glass. This team is ready to go in the five now, four and a half minutes, and Skip Cross has seen enough for a second. He wants to talk things over. 7-0 Buccaneers run. All tied up here in Tampa. Wake Forest relies on All-American Josh Howard for senior leadership, and they need him more than ever right now with four and a half to go, second half. The number two seed in the East in a tie game with East Tennessee State, led by Zaki Wadu. And it doesn't necessarily have to be Howard scoring, but he has to get involved to make his teammates better right now. He's right in the middle of his zone. But they got a 1-3-1 defensively. Downing. Huge three. Teron Downing drills it from long distance. 14 points, his fourth tray of the day. Now putting Howard on the free throw line is a good move just then by Skip Prosser because it collapses the defense around the star player and it opens up the wings in the perimeter. Good step up delivery again. Eric Williams back on the floor for Wake. Ball handling wizardry by Smith and a push. Let's see you get out there and guard him. No shot. I'll stay right here. Ed DeCellis doesn't even crack a smile. He's wow. seen it before. Yeah, we've seen this with Downey stepping into his shot. Big time bucket when Wake Forest really needed a step up. Second foul on Teron Downey. And the 18th foul against Wake. Tim Smith. 14 points. His first trip to the line where he shoots it at 73%. 
the first attempt in a one and one situation. Wake Forest with the lead. They have the ball, 3.40 to go. You see Howard in the middle of the floor also. He's a factor because they're looking at him defensively. Levy, corner jump, tracked down by Wadu. It's a pretty simple equation coming down the stretch of close basketball games. Make good decisions. Don't turn the basketball over, but make sure you get as many shots and drives to the basket. Here we go with Fields. Good, smart move there by Fields. He was pushed on his way to the rim. And Gerald Fields is going to the free throw line. Eric Williams just got called on his fifth foul on his mother, Deborah. Can't even bear to watch. A career day for Williams, but it's over. 20 points. Just about all of the damage was done in the first half. Nine rebounds, two blocks. Mom should be proud of that afternoon that he just put together. A guy who has had foul problems up and down all season long, but they really need his inside force right now. Fields in and out. And a tussle. Bodies come flying in. Lawson was there, as was Justin Gray. And now for pushing and shoving as an official goes down. <laughs> Ted Hillary took a tumble and had a little bit of fun with it. <laughs> He's a good sport. Ted did one of those down goes Frazier, huh? Everything was clean, though. They got right in on top of it. I mean, this is obviously one of these games that's so competitively played right now. And you get the traffic arms tangled up. Good work. Look at the officials, though. From this angle, Ted from behind, they did a good job of getting to the spots that they had to. And that's where Hillary went down <laughs> trying to restore order. Lawson called on the personal foul with that takedown. And that's his third. 19 foul on East Tennessee State. And they've got everything situated now as the refs took a look at it to make sure they had the right player with the right. foul. Seven points for Gray. Plus the right shooter also who was buried yeah. underneath the fouler just then. The freshman knocks down the first free throw. Justin Gray, who broke his jaw in a loss to Duke on January the 12th, came back and scored 18 points in his first game back against Duke after missing extended action. We've got a good one here, 69-64, Wake Forest with the lead. Let's go to Greg Gumbel right now. All right, Greg, thanks very much. Great finishes all throughout this draw in the first two days of the 2003 NCAA Tournament. Wake Forest with a 69-64 lead over East Tennessee State. Take a look at our CBS Sportsline stat of the game. It's rebounds. Wake Forest, the number one team in the country in that category, and they have a sizable lead over the Buccaneers off the glass right now. Get complete tournament stats, cbssportsline.com or America Online. Enter keyword CBS Sportsline. 3.15 to go. Eric Williams has fouled out. The freshman was outstanding with 20 points and nine rebounds for the Demon Deacons. Smith being guarded by Downey. After the timeout, Smith wants it himself. Floaters, no. Rebound, Howard. You know, that unorthodox shot of Smith going towards the basket, a little bit of a push shot. Did not get that one to go down, so we need a 1-3-1 one, one defense to make things happen for them. Wake Forest, 69. East Tennessee State, 64. The number two seed in the East in a tight one against the 15th seeded Buccaneers from the Southern Conference. Kick out. Downey a three. Backs it down. His fifth from three-point range today. And is he ever, and he has continued all afternoon understanding where that shot's going to place him on the floor. He owns that real estate from that exact spot. Just over two minutes to go. Fields the leaner using the window. No good. And Howard's got the board once again for Wake Forest. This is where playing in the rough wars of an ACC 
type league where you have guys banging constantly. A tough schedule that Wake Forest has played. And they're ready to go down the stretch of tough basketball games. 8-0 run for the Demon Deacons. Howard has a double-double, 10 points, 13 boards. Shot clock is down to 10. Downey on a bounce for the senior Howard. It rims out from three-point territory. You see if Smith starts to go towards the basket a little bit more. Smith, the pull-up three, buries it. Like I said, pull up the three. What do I know, right? Go. Tim Smith brings the Buccaneers to within five with 1.34 left in regulation. With a 72-67 lead over East Tennessee State. Zahiwa Dude has been a go-to guy for the Buccaneers today. But Tim Smith just hit a pivotal three. He has converted on eight of his last 11 shots from the field. And it's a five-point game with a minute 20 left. And switching back to the man-to-man -man defense right now, East Tennessee State. Howard with the basketball. Let's see if he gets involved against the man-to-man -man defense. Gray, a freshman. And a timeout taken by Skip Rosser with 10 seconds left on the shot clock. 1.08 on the game clock. East Tennessee State still in the neighborhood. 72-67, Wake Forest in front of East Tennessee State. We take a look at our game reset. Foul situation, each team with nine, so any foul committed from here on out, the team will go into the double bonus. Two timeouts left for the Buccaneers, one for the Demon Deacon. Shot clock down to six. Downey looking at three eight. Rebound action controlled by Wadu. It was the smart play by Downey just then going towards the basket. No completion gives East Tennessee State another life right here. 13th board for Wadu to go along with 19 points. Smith into the lane. Smith is banged to the floor and a foul call. He's as good as it gets being able to do things off the dribble with his penetration. There really aren't many seams on that particular drive just then. We're sitting almost on his left shoulder watching the play develop. Didn't look like there was enough room to get through and he somehow manages to squeeze through there. Tim Smith. 17 points, 0 for 1 from the free throw line. Gets the roll on the first attempt. And the Buccaneers are within four. James Anthony comes in, replaces Brad Knuckles. And another free throw coming for Smith from Newport News, Virginia. Played on the same travel team as Carmelo Anthony from Syracuse. Smith scored 25 points in the conference final game against Chattanooga to help put the Buccaneers in this position. It's a three-point game. 12-second differential. And a turnover. Oh, great catch there by Fields to go after that ball. 40 seconds left. Buccaneers down by three. Smith oh. rejected by Howard. Here's Anthony off the glass. No. Tip into the outside. Smith will try it for the tie. Wadu, big time play just then on the offensive class. He could not get the basketball, but swatted at it, tipped it out, and you saw the results. Oh, what a big time shot from Tim Smith. The number two seed, Wake Forest, in a tie game with East Tennessee State. Morning, William. During that timeout, it looked like Tim Smith was cramping up just a little bit as he was stretching out. And his body has been through so many contortions so far today. <laughs> and he tries to hit the ball off the Wake Forest player's legs. He misses. Fields had to run that ball down. So good thinking for both of those players. 22 points for Smith. The shot clock has been turned off. We are tied at 72. And this is good defense right here. Wake Forest has the last shot if they want it, but don't make it easy. Make the defense come out and get it. And a foul called on Lawson. It will send Howard to the free throw line for two attempts. Fourth foul on the senior Ryan Lawson with 21.6 remaining. I still like the decision though, even though it didn't work out for East Tennessee State defensively just then, you put Howard at the line, an 82% free throw shooter. I like the aggressive play because you just can't sit back like that and wait for them to take the last shot, a do, do or die situation there. Howard. Good on the first attempt. The first Wake Forest first-team All-American since Tim Duncan. And a second free throw coming. 11 points today. He nails a pair. 
That ends an 8-0 Buccaneers run. 20 seconds left. Big time players step up. Here's another one, Smith. Smith looks for the opening. To the rim. Layup, no. Inside, Wadid. Foul call. Could have been any of the three players for Wake Forest. Might be Howard down low. A lot of guys grabbing, but once again, Tim Smith understanding the play, understanding the situation that he finds himself in. Look at the drive, the slash. Now go to work. Go get the offensive glass. Make things happen. Take your pick. It could have been any of the three players just in for Wake Forest. They give it to Danilus and Wadud at the line. First is good. 67% on the season. 20 points for Wadud. He is now 9 of 11 from the strike. And he's going to have to think about the second one. And Skip Prosser is going to make him think a little bit about this shot right now. 12.1 left on the clock. And we've seen two fabulous basketball games this afternoon. And we've seen guys step up time after time in both of these games to make big shots, to make big free throws, to do what they're supposed to do. Give you a frame of reference. 15 seeds that have pulled off the upset. Richmond in 91 did it. Santa Clara in 93. Coppin State four years later. And then Hampton in 2001. And you also have to be thinking right now, what's the situation? You're down a point, you're shooting the ball from the free throw line. If you make it defensively, you go back and you, what do you, what do you want to do? You want to play aggressive basketball just like they did a moment ago. If you miss this shot, though, and don't come up with the offensive rebound, you immediately go into a fouling game. Wadud for the tie. No good off the rim. And a foul called with 10.9. Zaki Wadud unable to convert the second free throw. And the worst case right now for East Tennessee State, though, is that there's still one possession, and they have plenty of time to get it up the floor. Seventy-four, seventy-three. Wake Forest. Justin Gray, a freshman, seventy-nine percent shooter, at the line for the Demon Deacons. He is four of four from the free throw line this afternoon. His team is up by one. Ten point nine on the clock. Gray's first. Rimming, no good. And Ed DeCellis wants a timeout. He headed for another OT. 10.9 remaining. Wake Forest up by one. Another free throw for Justin Gray, the freshman from Charlotte, North Carolina. You see the numbers. Wake Forest, as a team, normally shoots it at 75%. They're at 59% today. Second one is good for Gray. A two-point differential. Off to the races we go with Smith. Seven seconds left. Here's Smith against Howard. Smith with five seconds. A three. Air ball. Caught by Wake. And a foul called with 1.1. Tim Smith decided not to go towards the basket where he's most dangerous and settled for the three. I credit the courage. I'm not sure about the decision, though. You have to take that basketball, especially with his quicks. You must go towards the basket with that. And DeCellis showing us the results, make, not making him that happy. You could see DeCellis saying, drive that, drive that. Instead, a perimeter jump shot with 1.1. Gray can ice it. No good! The Buccaneers are still alive. No timeouts remaining. They've got to set up with some players towards the other end of the floor. Smith is quick, but how quick can you be? Well, he won't have time. He's got to get it on the fly. Somebody's got to catch this and go with it on the fly. Let's see what happens. Best they can do is tie. Down by three. Wadud's pass out of bounds with 1.1. That ball will come all the way down the other end of the floor. Wake Forest. 1.1 left on the clock. And they lead it by three. Still a catch and foul situation here. Not much time, but you have to still do it. It's over. The upset dreams of East Tennessee State comes up short. Wake Forest taken to the limit by the 15th seed in the East. The Demon Deacons advance 76 to 73.